Um, I'm so excited. Um, so, this next lady um, brought us the world's most famous singleton in 2001 when she directed the iconic Bridget Jones's Diary. Um, she brought her back in 2016 for Bridget Jones's Baby. And um, the three call became a huge, huge success. It made a production company working title the first British film company to take one billion at the UK box office. It's, yeah. And as Bridget would say herself, she's VV good. It's Filmmaker of the Year, Sharon Maguire. Hello. Thank you, Ollie. Honestly, anyone would think I wrote that list of superlatives for you myself. Um, I have to say, when I heard who was giving me the award, I squealed like I did when Patrick Dempsey, when I made Patrick Dempsey dive barebacked into a swimming pool for 45 takes. Um, I love, love, love years and years. Um, one of the best bits of directing these films is to get to meet pop stars, call me shallow, and ask them to record songs for the film. Um, it's a bit like being Simon Cowell, but without the Spanx and the Botox. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, um, generally, comedies and the people who are in them and who direct them are overlooked when it comes to awards. So I'd like to thank Glamour magazine for recognizing comedy movies. Thank you. Um, <laughs> making these films is a bit like having a baby, except it's a lot more painful. And there are a lot more men involved in the process. <laughs> um, I have to admit, this one slipped out much easier than the first one, where delivery resulted in a great deal more anal tearing. I did wonder whether anal tearing was too far to go tonight. <laughs> it's the sort of detail the men involved in the film wanted me to avoid. <laughs> Stick fingers and ears, not listening, not listening. Tonight, I feel in this room of glitter and hairspray, I feel I can give full vent to it all. Anal tearing, <laughs> engorged breasts, perineal massage. A vaginal prolapse. Yeah. I could never thank all the individuals um, involved, but obviously there's a whole posse of biatches who are crucial to the process. Renee Zellweger is pretty important. I can't think of anyone I'd rather be down in the comedy trenches with than her. Except, of course, Colin Firth, who won't mind me naming him as an honorary bitch. And neither will Richard Curtis nor Hugh Grant. And of course, the amazing Helen Fielding, who started all this back in the 90s when we were all gaily covering up our fear and loneliness with comedy, drugs, and alcohol. Along with my friend Tracy McLeod, who's been part of the real Bridget Jones crew, who's here tonight. Uh, she's the Adina to my Patsy. Uh, can I just say, I'm so excited to be on the stage with you. <laughs> Comedy idol and with Dawn French. I mean, that's, this is such a night for me. Um, finally, uh, thanks to my partner, Anand. And, um, oh, sorry, hang on. I have, to, I have to say thanks to the amazing Helen Fielding, who started all this. I've said all that. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Thank, thanks to my partner, Anand, who tortured me as an on-off mainly off boyfriend during the first Bridget Jones and is now happily tamed as my husband for this particular Bridget outing. Um, and of course, thanks also to the gorgeous fruit of my loins, the two little boys really responsible for the anal tearing, Augie and Charnel. It's all right, they know about the tearing. I talk about it all the time. <laughs> finally, finally, thank you to all my fantastic new friends at Glamour magazine. For, the, for making me feel very special and for this lovely, lovely gift. I'm thrilled. Thank you. Thank you.